Right, hello folks, Kevin here again. So today I am just on a day hike for the next week. I am going to be in the Palas Ulas Tunturi National Park, which is in Lapland. I am going to be climbing a hill today, or a Tunturi in Finnish, called Kuer. And uh, it's quite a short hike to the top. It's about three kilometers to the top. And uh, the trail was on all trails, so I said I'd give it a go. This is my first day hiking here, so I wanted to sort of take it easy and work my way into doing longer hikes as the week goes on. As you can see from the trail, it's quite rocky. So this is going to be a very good test for my new Lone Peak Ultra all-weather boots to see how they stand up to such rough terrain and also what the grip is going to be like. This time of year in Finland is known as Ruska Aika or Ruska. Lapland is a very popular destination for people to come to experience Ruska Aika because there are lots of birch trees, but in particular also uh, sycamore or maple and these are known for having bright yellow, red, orange, various hues when they start to change colour in autumn just before they fall. The ad added advantage of Lapland is that the uh, there are hills or fells around here known as Tunturi, Tunturit, plural in Finnish, and this allows you to see massive vistas of the of the landscape and really appreciate the extent of the forestation in in this area. Yeah, it's about six and a half degrees today. And uh, according to the weather forecast, it feels like four or five. Um, now that I've been moving, it actually isn't so bad. And uh, as you've probably noticed, I've taken my jacket off. It's amazing to me that I could walk somewhere like this and see absolutely nobody. I have the place entirely to myself. What a luxury. Okay, so now we're quite close to the top and as you can see you get above the tree line the larger trees like pines and stuff just stop now we're much more likely to see things like juniper, heather and similar From a distance they, all these hills look like they're sort of a jade green colour when not covered in snow. In actual fact it's not the rocks that are green, it's the lichens that co cover them that are green. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but the rocks themselves, I think they're quartzite, are actually a pinkish colour. So here's an example of some quartz. Good job Martin isn't here, he'd have the whole mountain in his pocket. I have time just to sit and admire the wonderful landscape. And uh, one thing that when I actually stopped moving and sat and the silence rolled back in, it's, uh, it's amazing just how quiet it is up here. There's the odd call of a crow or a raven or something and some, some small birds. But apart from uh, the noise that I'm actually making, or the one the GoPro goes beep, beep, beep when I turn it off. Um, yeah, the place is really silent. Lone peaks have held up fairly well. They're kind of scuffed on the front. Although in fairness, this uh, terrain is pretty rocky and quite unforgiving on boots. Uh, one thing I also notice is that relative to my Salomons, which really encase my feet, uh, these are, have a more of a, I've heard it described as a mushy feeling. 
and that is kind of true especially from from about here forward there's so much space for the toe box that it does feel kind of mushy in terms of grip these lugs work really well with the caveat of course that today the rocks are dry so the grip is actually really really good so far so good i'm very happy with them this mark means that this trail has been used for uh snowmobiles in principle if i keep on following these x marks i should get myself back to where i started I don't think skiers are going to be a problem today. Okay folks, so nearly back at the car. Altogether something like four kilometers walked altogether, so quite an easy loop distance wise, but uh, fairly rocky terrain, so uh, my boots were surely put through their paces today. Uh, I'll keep you updated as to how they continue to perform throughout the week here in Lapland. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned tomorrow. We're off to a new destination. I haven't decided yet where to go, so you'll know when I do. So, all the best. Moi moi.